So today I'm going to be treating the ankle using the Tech Apples from Menrafnonius. Anterior talofibula ligament strains. It's preloaded the machine at level 8 for 6 minutes. Level 8 is up towards the top end of the machine. It should heat up fairly quickly. I like to use 1 minute per treatment head size. So 6 minutes is going to be far too much for the area I'm going to be treating. So I'm going to come down to 4 minutes. You might even want to come down to 3 minutes. The anterior fibula ligament is not a large ligament. We'll come to the patient now and have a look at the thermal image. So if we're looking at the thermal image here, 25, 26 degrees in and around the uh, front of the ankle. I'll just put my finger specifically onto the ATFL so you can see what the temperature is about 27 degrees ish. I'll add the earthing electrode now. So we'll put some contact medium on the earthing electrode and then put that under a fleshy part of the patient. I don't like to go under bony parts with the contact with the earthing electrode. I don't find it gets that good a contact. So uh, we'll put it under the opposite leg in this case. I'll put some contact medium onto the ATFL. Again, it's not a big ligament, but it is actually in many countries responsible for the majority of ankle injuries. And in some countries, uh, it can be so prevalent. There's the small treatment head there that we're going to be using. ATFL injuries, ATL, ATFL injuries can be so prevalent they make up 80% of ankle injuries and uh, very popular area to injure. You can get thickening into this ligament and it will tighten up and that reduces the amount of ankle motion and particularly the ability to be able to compensate on rougher surfaces. It tends to be worst on, on um, loose ground, rocks, gravel, um, sand, those types of surfaces where patients will notice a decrease in the movement. Uh, truth be told, people who wear trainers day to day uh, wouldn't notice a lot of difference in the range of motion. Uh, the trainers tend to limit that range of motion and there is an argument that actually people lose that range of motion from wearing um, shoes, particularly trainers, uh, every day. This area is an area that's commonly supported during this treatment and so ankle braces are not uncommon and uh, you'll often find that when you damage this ligament, I'm just going to fast forward to the end of the treatment here, you often find that when you damage this ligament actually you end up with the perineae um, ramping down as you can see here the temperature has come up really nicely 33 34 degrees yeah the perineum will actually ramp down offering less muscular support to the area rather than more and so very important to get it back as quickly as possible